Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to work through an example of solving the derivative of a function using the chain and product rules. So the question asked is, how do you find the derivative of y equals x squared sine of the square root of x? So before we do anything, I always recommend rewriting square roots as powers because that makes it easier to compute the derivative. So what's the square root as an exponent? Well, that's just the one half power. So I'm gonna rewrite this as y equals x squared sine of x to the one half. Now let's take a look at uh, what rules we're gonna be using to solve this derivative. The first one is the product rule. And the product rule says that if we have f of x times g of x, the derivative of that is going to be f prime of x times g of x plus f of x uh, times g prime of x. Now, all that's saying is that we take the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. What other rule are we going to use? Well, obviously, we're going to use the chain rule as well. What the chain rule says is that if we have f of g of x, so if we have a function of a function of x, the derivative of that is going to be f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So what this means is that we take the derivative of the outside function f first, and then we keep g of x the same. And then we multiply that by the derivative of the inside function g. So now let's take a look at this derivative. We have y equals x squared sine x to the 1 half power. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to realize this is actually two terms. I have an x squared, and then I have a sine x to the 1 half. And because of that, I'm going to start off with the product rule. So y prime is equal to the derivative of the first, so 2x times the second, sine x to the 1 half, plus the first, x squared, times the derivative of the second. So now, what's the derivative of sine x to the 1 half? Well, this is a function of a function. We're either taking the sine of x to the 1 half, or the one-half power of sine to the x. But which is it? It's important to know what the inside function is and what the outside function is. Well, in this case, the outside function is actually sine because if the outside function was the one-half, it would be written as sine of x to the one-half. Since it's not written that way, however, sine is the outside function. So we take the derivative of sine first and leave the, one, the x to the one-half the same. So what's the derivative of sine? Well, that's just cosine, and now x to the 1 half, times the derivative of the inside term. So the derivative of x to the 1 half. What's the derivative of x to the 1 half? Well, that's just going to be 1 half x to the negative 1 half, based on the power rule. So now let's clean some things up. We get y prime is equal to 2x sine x to the one half plus now here we have an x squared and here we have a one half x to the minus one half and when we have the same base and we're multiplying um, what we do is we add the powers so i'm going to have one half x to the two plus negative one half or three halves power cosine x to the one half and now, if you wanted to, you could take this uh, and rewrite it a little bit. So in the beginning, we said that the 1 half power is equivalent to square root. So if you wanted to, you could rewrite this as 2x sine of square root of x plus 1 half x to the 3 half power cosine of the square root of x. And... Um, this x to the 3 halves, we could break that apart as x to the 1 half cubed, if, you, uh, if you're familiar with your, power, uh, with your exponent rules. 
So we could also rewrite this as y prime equals 2x sine root x plus 1 half root x cubed cosine, x, uh, cosine root x. And you know, you could rewrite this several different ways, um, but ultimately any of these could be your answer. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, happy studying.